Hey everybody, welcome to another Valley Forged. On this rainy day here in California, it doesn't get rainy that much, but lately it's been a little crazy. So I, my lasers are outside, as you can see, they're kind of put away today. Got one, my Laser Master 3 is here underneath all this stuff and uh, we we're supposed to get high winds, so I was just making sure nothing got blown away. The uh, Mon Port. Yesterday I did right away after Christmas, you know, doing some work already. Uh, made some keychains and uh, put together some wallets. So if you're into lasers at all, no matter what kind, diode, uh, CO2, then you're in the right channel. Uh, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Um, but today, since I am probably not going to do a lot of work in the rain, um, you know, this situation really works out super well most of the time because I'm outside, so I don't have to worry so much about ventilation. But uh, when it rains that rare time in California, um, you know, it is less than the best ever. So what am I thinking about when I'm saying, oh, you know what? I'm not going to do any laser today. Uh, I'm thinking about more power. <laughs> you know, I love my Monport. Uh, CO2 laser, but it does have the small bed, right? So uh, what I was thinking is I really want to restock these crosses that I made because literally I did a show before, in, you know, Christmas and they sold out like immediately. So I highly suggest uh, everybody, you can go to Etsy, I'll, I'll show you the link. There's many different versions of this, but it's a great idea. It it, you can cut it so easily um, and just be done, you know. Uh, I think anything at 10 watt or above with a, a good 8 inch wood. Like, so I'm using, uh, you know, a mahogany or an oak or whatever you want to use, but an 8 inch hardwood uh, plywood maybe or just uh, regular wood. But you want it to be a hardwood. You want it to be something that's going to have some heft to it and be able to go on a wall and not bend and be, you know, feel really good. And I'll show you a version on the, on the here of, of what I did. And like <laughs> within the first 15 minutes of me starting this show, they were all gone. Uh, so it definitely is something that worked out really well for me and maybe it'll work out well for you. Uh, we, so that is too big to cut on the Mon port and that's the 40 watt. It would do it really well. So my Laser Master 3, it's a 10 watt. And while it does it, it takes three cuts to do it at, you know, a reasonable speed. So just the way that it all works out, your best bet is, is cutting it three times at, you know, a, a lower power, um, maybe not 100%, but uh, that takes a long time. And anytime you're cutting something three times, you're just upping the chances that some mistake is going to happen. Uh, the machine is having to work a lot longer. So uh, ideally, you're looking at a bigger CO2 laser, which is a lot more expensive, or you're looking at a 20 watt. So I've got the kind of perfect setup already. You know, I have the extension, I have everything I want working on this machine. So what do I do? How do I get 20 watts out of a Laser Master 3? Because I know you can do it with X-Tool or you can do it with the Atom Stack. Uh, but currently on the Laser Master 3, it didn't seem possible. So actually I put in a word to Atezer because I really like to try out their 20 watt. I've heard good things about it. It was sold out. Um, if you've watched the Louisiana Hobby Guys video on the Atezer, it, uh, it looked like something that was, you know, worth trying out. So I wanted to try that. Uh, so I put in a word to them and hopefully once they have those back in stock, I will be trying that out and I will try it with that very cross. And we will see the difference. But until then, I also saw on uh, the a Clack Shack, uh, I'll put it up right here. Um, it seems like a lot of the people who watch my channel also watch his. And I noticed that he has a Laser Master 3 and he put this new ComGrow 20 watt that fits on the Laser Master 3. 
All right, guys, so this is why I'm in such a good mood today. Believe it or not, it has arrived. And as you know, I do a lot of cutting and so forth. And so I needed a little more power at times. Uh, but the cool thing about this module, guys, before we get into putting it together and putting it on the machine, the cool thing about this, mach this module is it fits every machine that I like in this shop. This will work with the X-Tool D1. This will work with the Otour Laser Master 2, Otour Laser Master 3, and the Comgro Z1. This got me interested, so I will reach out to them as well. But I, I really just wanted you guys to know about it. Because, it, you know, a lot of the people that watch my channel probably have a Laser Master 3 or are interested in it. And uh, maybe you're looking at upgrading to 20 watts and you don't want to buy a whole new setup. Uh, so the Comgro looks like your best option right now if you want to go with a 20 watt uh, and upgrade to 10. Now there is going to be some interesting uh, things you might have to do to make that work. Uh, I want to see that if I use, see, you see I move the bolts on uh, my limit switch uh, because I have the Z-axis. Now if I took off my Z-axis and added the com grow, I'm thinking that might do it. And I, you know, that may sound confusing right now, but when I get one, then I'll show you what I mean. But uh, limit switches is kind of what you're looking at it as an issue for it. Um, because it is bigger than the current, so it would actually hit. Uh, but other than that, it looks very capable, so I'm looking to give a shot on that one. So, um, Really, that's what this video is. This is my first video of the year. I just kind of wanted to let you know if you are looking, or maybe you just maybe look at the Comgro 20 watt itself. Um, but if you have a Laser Master 3, this is something you can look into. I think it's like $450. Maybe it'll be on sale or something. So uh, we'll look more into that. And I wanted to, you know, give a shout out to Clack Shack and to Louisiana Hobby Guy, you know. I think if we're all paying attention to each other, we're going to learn a lot about lasers and uh, that's better for everybody. So uh, I guess I'll get back to making leather tomorrow on this thing. So um, I'm really, really loving making leather wallets on this uh, Laser Master 3 right now. Uh, they're just so nice. So I'll show you a little picture of that right now. And uh, We'll get back to that, but anything else that you guys want to check out, uh, let me know, and I will start doing some videos on that and get back to making some acrylic on the Mon port. Um, it's nice to be able to just make acrylic keychains. You know, I can make literally both of them at the same time. So we'll get back to that. I just wanted to say hello and happy 2023, and we are back.